Hi guys, my name is Geordie. I'm here to talk to you today about my poster. I chose mental health needs because I thought I could relate to that a lot. I kept it quite colourful, quite concise, and I put some colourful pictures in there because I want teachers, families and children especially to be able to read it and it be somewhat positive and mental health doesn't always have to be viewed in such a negative light. So I defined mental health needs as mental health needs are among the most common and disabling health conditions affecting children and adolescents today. They can significantly impact family life and adversity affecting students' learning and development. Mental health needs refers to a wide range of mental health conditions and disorders that affect your mood, thinking and behaviour. Examples of these mental health Issues in which people can struggle with can be depression, anxiety disorders, eating, schizophrenia and addictive behaviours. We as teachers can be active supporters within our classroom to help reduce the number of students affected by mental health. The two strategies that I chose to put on my poster are two which I think are most important. Establishing trusting and supportive relationships. When you suffer from a mental illness, supportive relationships, friendship and family play a key role in bettering our mental health. They share our fears, hopes, confidence and happiness, and most importantly, trust and support. By establishing a trustive and supportive relationship with our children, they will feel comfortable and safe, therefore creating lower rates of anxiety and depression and higher self-esteem and more trusting and cooperative relationships. By establishing the trusting relationships, teachers can give the students the guidance and support they need along their educational journey. Examples of how teachers can build these supportive and trusting relationships is discuss and model trust throughout our classrooms. Take the time to talk to the kids. Get to know them, get to know their interests. If they come to you with a, with a topic of concern, talk them through it, tell them it's going to be okay. Give them strategies and really reach out. Develop a classroom atmosphere of trust. If your students within your classroom trust you, you're going to be able to build and establish that relationship and be consistent and give students responsibilities. This shows them that you trust them to do something. If you give a kid a responsibility, such as can you hand out the work or can you go around and collect everyone's papers, they're going to start to feel that you trust them, you're giving them that responsibility for a reason. And this rapport between the two of you can be established. And I think that's really, really important. My second strategy I chose is differentiation within the classroom. The modern day classroom is significantly more diverse than a traditional classroom environment. We currently live in an age where mental abilities and mental health needs and learning preferences are increasingly analysed, making it possible to cater to every student's individual needs. This is called differentiation, a pedagogy in which the teacher reflects students' needs and caters to all types of learners. Differentiation can be used within the classroom so every child feels as, a, as if they belong, creating an inclusive environment. Examples of how we can establish this and achieve this in a classroom are special seating, use of technology, verbal and visual learning, practical learning, group work and lesson plan adjustments. All children want to feel as though they belong. If you've got a child in your classroom who's struggling with mental health needs, if they can come to an inclusive environment and feel supported, they're going to reach out. Also on my poster, I included some resources where children, families and teachers can go. There's helplines. Um, you can see a GP and psychologist or a counsellor if you think your child's got mental health needs or if you've got mental health needs or a student within your classroom does. Having a poster of these within your classroom is a great point of reference for anyone. If they're ever doubting themselves or having concerns, having resources available, they can just go there, they can talk to someone if they want to deal with it privately. It's just a great way to start that conversation and so they know that they're supported. I really do think these two strategies are really important to help minimise mental health needs and mental health issues within classrooms. Children have enough going on in their life. In our day and age, it's very busy with everything that's been going on currently. So having these trusting and supportive relationships and differentiation within the classroom is what I feel is going to make the most difference. So like I said, I've kept my poster quite clear and concise, quite bright. I want it to attract people. I want people to be able to come up to it, read it, really take away from what I've written on there. 
and yeah, that that's what I think is going to help minimize mental health within our classrooms and help children. Thank you. Bye.